1957 and 1961, 169 games, 132 goals for Chelsea, a few seasons at AC Milan, and then he came to Tottenham Hotspur to become the greatest goal scorer this club has ever had. In the early hours of this morning, as I'm sure you know, we lost the great Jimmy Griggs. Let's have a chat with some great legends that knew him better than anybody else. Firstly, uh, another man, a great goal scorer himself. Martin, it's great to see you as always. Thank you very much, Martin. Jimmy! For those of us, and there are a few of us, that may not be of the age to actually have seen Jimmy play live, which everyone wanted to do. We've seen the clips for someone that knew him, that watched him, that played alongside him. How good was he? First of all, it's just a pleasure to have been in the dressing room with the same man, because he was always confident, coming very bubbly, uh, went out on the football field knowing that the defenders were going to try and kick him up in the air, but he jinked in them out and always had a smile on his face and looked as if he was floating across the surface. He was very nimble on his feet, but the one problem I had with him was that I gave, it to, gave him the pass outside the box, but it never came back to me. <laughs> yeah, but where did it hit up? Ended up in the net after beating three more players. Just lovely man, wonderful man, and I thank him for getting me to this football club because it was he, he who mentioned to Bill Nicholson to sign me after we played against the Irish League in Dublin. So I thank you very much, Jim. So nimble, so quick, but an unbelievable goal scorer. Nobody could seem to get near. So what was the secret? What was so special about his game, Martin? I think the goal scoring, I think he had a knack of going in the position where other players would think were, were wrong. We would be challenging for the ball and he would go to an open space and lo and behold the ball would come to him. He was like a magnet in the penalty area and we all thought it was a little bit of luck but he must have had intuition to be able to know where the ball might finish and, he, fin and he finished it very, very well. And without the greatest? Pardon? The greatest? The greatest? The greatest in this football club, yes, of course, without doubt. Listen, the great Martin Chivers. Quick word with uh, Phil, talking about some of the scores goals, and Phil, that was really never your forte, but you were great friends with Jimmy. Just give me a, a, a quick example of what Jimmy the man was like as well. I was a great man, I think, um, in the early days. I think he looked after me a little bit. Um, I used to keep an eye on him a little bit as well. I mean, I remember one game when we were down at White Hart Lane, I mean, I looked at the cross at the toilet and there was smoke coming out the top of the toilet. I think Jimmy was just having a little quiet fact before he went out. On the way out, the trainer used to say to him, Jim, do you want to drop a brandy? Oh yeah, I'll have some of that before you went out. Oh, how times have changed, eh, Phil? Um, let's have a look at a master craftsman plying his trade. Let's see him in action, shall we? as well. Please give it up for Steve Perriman and Gary Mallet who are with us. Steve. Gary, you know him as well as anybody from uh, a boy player coming through his trade just when Jimmy was here. What, what, what do you remember about Jimmy? What, what stands out for you about Jimmy Greaves more than anything else? 
He was a professional goal scorer. But that was it, from start to finish, he knew how to score a goal. He didn't really want to run about, but he thought the game and he floated over the grass. Can you imagine how bad those pitches were? He floated over them, he glided over them. And when defenders like me are running through the ground, he's floating on top of it. What a, what a play. What would you like to play against them in training? Because I, I believe that he was a man for a match day, wasn't he? Not so much at the training pitch there at Chesham. He definitely did not enjoy training. He did not enjoy training, trust me. Anything to do with running, he weren't involved. I think he felt the more he did stamina running, it would take away from his pace. And his game was built on that first two or three metres. Is he one of those players that his interest and love of the game, it was more playing the game than actually everything outside? He just had a true love of playing football. No doubt, no doubt. And he was very single-minded. His job was to be on there and score a goal. The best this been as well? Yes, of course. He lived, he lived for scoring goals. And it didn't affect him if he missed one. Steve, always a pleasure and honour. The great really, team. Really good to be interviewed by you. <laughs> Thank you. And Gary. Jimmy, let, let's talk about, I mean, you're here as ambassador, you've been an ambassador of the club, a true legend of the club. What, what's Jimmy's legacy? I mean, it's terribly sad. I, I still remember we were going to do the Hall of Fame here, and unfortunately this horrendous stroke affected him just before we were supposed to do that here. But his legacy here is surely immeasurable. How would you describe Jimmy? Well, um, Jimmy's sublime goal scoring ability made him one of the greatest ever goal scorers this country has ever seen. And goal scoring is never easy. Jimmy Breeze made it look easy. And if you look at his rec records with the Chelsea, of course, and the Spurs, and for England, I mean, it's not just the Chelsea fans that call him legend, Spurs fans. Every England supporter has got a place in their mind. Jimmy Green's goals that he scored. I was lucky to see so many goals on television, so many of his fantastic skills. I was lucky enough to meet Jimmy a number of times over the years. What a great character, and say one of the greatest goal scorers this country has ever seen. Gary, thank you very much. We'll miss him. We send our love to his family, all his friends. This is always going to be his home as far as we're concerned. Rest in peace, the great Jimmy Green. Get behind the team like the Spurs. Thank you.